it's always good when you drop the plug in the oil. Beautiful. G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video I'm going to try and do the service on my new tractor, the uh, UHI 55 horsepower. Uh, it's got a major service after 20 hours and that's just come up on me so and I'm 600 k's away from the nearest service uh, guy so they're happy if you do it yourself so we're gonna do it so, um, there's not much manuals or anything there is but it's in Chinese it's a bit hard to read it's a Chinese tractor so uh, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for but we'll work it out and then if uh, any of you guys are planning to get one of these you'll be able to uh, follow my errors and uh, work out what you have to do if you're going to service it yourself so yeah let's uh, have a bit of a crack at service on this sucker so a couple of things it's got here on the on the service sheet for 20 hours we got engine oil and and oil filter obviously your transmission and rear diff oil that's just combined on the tractor um, check brakes safety check top up hydraulic oil if it needs it Grease nozzles, change the front diff oil, because it's full drive. Uh, check the brake oil, um, change your diesel filter, and just check your air filters and stuff. So it's all pretty simple. And uh, it's got on here like quantities and what sorts of oils and stuff. Drop the oil out of all the different parts. So um, yeah, we're gonna put the bucket up and lock it out of the road and uh, we'll get into the, the engine. So yeah, let's go. So as you can see, these plates in here, which um, just they're stored up on there, but they rest against the hydraulics rams to uh, yeah stop anything falling on you if you're working under it. So cut the bonnet open. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is just flick the isolator off just so um, nothing comes on on me. I've got this mesh screen on here protecting the, the radiator but I'll give that a bit of clean even though it looks uh, pretty good. And we've got a little indicator there which shows you if the air filter is blocked. just sucks against it and displays in red or something like that but looks pretty clean but First thing I do, I'll pull out the air filter, give that a bit of a look, um, and we'll go from there. All right, pretty simple, just the three little latches, and then it should just slide off. There we go. A bit tight getting it out. So it's the air filter out, so just in there. It's actually a bit dirtier than I was expecting um, because I'm out on the block here without any compressed air or anything I'll um, I'll take it home and give it a, a good clean because it's pretty dirty but in amongst all the spares they gave me a, a fresh one so I'll put that in for now clean this one and then next service I'll put this one back in so we'll, we'll do that now you can see the difference here just after 20 hours um, how much dirtier this one is. I mean, I'm in a dusty environment, but um, yeah, just keep an eye on that, guys, if you uh, if you have one of these, because the main thing they reckon is making sure it's got clean air. So, yep, I'll put this new one in, and uh, yeah, we'll clean that one up ready for next service.
Okay. Also just wiping out the cap for the air filter because that was full of dirt too. And also it's got an o-ring that goes around there to seal so just make sure that's alright. And we'll put it back together. Okay guys we're going to do the engine oil next. Uh, get down underneath here. And there's a just down the bottom here we've got one plug there and there's actually another one just on the opposite side so I'm going to undo those and uh, drop the oil out of it there we go This is about 8 to 10 litres according to the little manual, so still looking pretty good for um, the 20 hours, but not too black. So I'll let him run out and we'll get some fresh oil. That one's nearly done, it's nearly filled up my bucket. But I'm going to undo this one on this side as well, just because you can see there's a rib. So I'll try and get all the oil out of it, so we'll undo him and see how much is in this side. good all right let's get some new oil in this sucker so that's what's going back in it it said uh, 15 to 40 if you live somewhere that doesn't go under zero 10 40 if you're in somewhere a bit colder but yep that's good for me and it said 8 to 10 liters and we've got 10 here so that should do it there's the fuel cap but it's uh, quite tight against the air filter so there's another spot here and there's actually a little oil symbol on it so that's where we're going to fill from I'll get the funnel and put it in okay so I haven't done the oil filter yet because I just like to put a tiny bit in just to flush out the engine block so I'll um, put that little bit in let it run out then I'll put the plugs back in change the filter and then we'll fill it up for good Always good when you drop the plug in the oil. Beautiful. This oil filter is a bit of a bugger just because of all of this um, structure for the bucket super tight to get in there I couldn't get my strap in to undo it so I've had to resort to big old set of Steelsons and just go on bit by bit it's taken me about an hour <laughs> just to get this off but just sort of showing you what I had to do and then bit by bit yeah it's pretty much finger tight now I think we'll get a better access over here Okay, one oil filter. So they supplied me with a, a freshie as part of the package. So we'll put this new one on and top him up with some oil. Just chuck a bit of oil on the, the O-ring. Like that. Now there's a 
bit awkward to get the funnel in there so I've just decided to go with the pump and I'll just hand pump it in so it might take a bit longer but be less mess so fill him up and then we'll move on to the, the next part uh, so the oil is in there uh, I've emptied this 10 litre bucket but what I'm going to do is try and pour all this back into this one because to me that looks like a lot more than 10 litres so I just want to see what came out of it compared to what the, the manual says so we'll just fill this up and then um, it'll give me some sort of idea well looks like I was wrong it's um, well, probably 9 litres or so so it's actually yeah pretty close so that's all good So I've uh, just got the oil in there um, and I was just checking the, the dipstick which is on the opposite side here and um, it was a little bit too high uh, with the 10 litres I put in so you can sort of see got the bottom mark and the top mark and uh, I've let out maybe 500 mils and now we're sitting just at the, the high mark so it's not too bad so with the little bit that I flushed through and uh, maybe losing a tiny bit, I'd say about nine litres of oil uh, around about did the job for my one, so keep that in mind. All right, I'm gonna have a bit of a break, but once I finish that, I'm gonna do the two fuel filters here and, um, and then we'll move on to the axles. All right, let's try and get these fuel filters off. He's tight. Got him. One fuel filter. And this one's a bit tight up. as well fresh one for here and there should be one more somewhere should be the same yep I'll tighten them up nipped up nice and good and then just on the other side here just in here is the this is the primer so we're gonna have to pump that a ton to get the fuel back through but um, I'll do that after I finish the rest of the service now onto the axles so there was a little bit of confusion if we look at my service book I got given now you'll see we've got engine oil we've done but then transmission oil which is also the rear diff oil it's saying this 8590 just standard gear oil uh, when I talked to the main mechanic for UHI he said not to use that he said to go with the standard tractor transmission uh, which is like a 1030 uh, transmission and, and diff oil uh, so I went and exchanged I had 40 litres of the gear lube um, but I went and exchanged it for the the other one for the the rear axle and transmission because it's the same um, same fluid but then the front diff still needs the just the standard gear lube um, about eight to ten litres it says so I'll use half of that and, and save some and it's 23 litres roughly of, of that one for the transmission and for the rear diff. So we'll start on the front first. Righto, front axle oil. 
so looking at it from underneath we've got plugs there halfway up main drain plug at the bottom and there's a fuel point on top on both sides so this should be I'm guessing I've just loosened it so I'll just pull this one out it should be at it or just a bit above it yeah so that's pretty much our height for our uh, our diff oil so when I'm refilling I'll know to go back to that very good I'll just put that back on there so it's not dripping everywhere and I'll let it out from the bottom so we'll take out this drain point and empty him out there we go that one's pretty much finished draining out of the center and now I'm gonna have to drain these lower points on each of the the final drive assemblies on the front wheels so this is all one piece and uh, all the fluid runs all the way down to these so the one plug at each end take those off drain the rest of that out and then we can refill it it's pretty loose as soon as you crack it Fair bit more in those side pieces. Yeah, we got that one. There's also a plug just on the top right here that I'm going to take off when I refuel to let the air out. It'll help help it fill up. And um, do this other side, and then fill him up. other side there we go and also this this one up on top if I can get it loose there we go I'll leave him out till we fill it and you can see that that helped it drain Beautiful. So he's nearly finished draining. And I don't know if you can read that there, but it's pretty much bang on nine litres we've pulled out of the front axle. So it says eight to ten on the book, and I'm guessing like it could be still a little bit, you know, in amongst there from the first fuel. So we'll aim for about nine litres back in it. Because there's no dipstick, I'm just going to be going off of uh, what I'm pulling out of my bucket. And then also that side plug, um, which will give us a rough idea. But yeah, nine litres, that should do it pretty nice. Okay, both bottom plugs are in, center plug is in. Got our top ones open. And we've got our hand pump here with our 80 90 gear oil. And and start pumping. So we're getting there, we've got that much in, but it is going in quite like running in quite slowly. If I if I push too hard, it's um just backing up a little bit. So I mean it's got to run all through the gears and right down this side. Um, but I must be getting pretty close. I look at my oh yeah there we go it's just started running now it was a bit above that when I um, took that cap off so I'm gonna put him back on now and then um, just go a little bit more because as I said there's no dipstick on this so we're just going by volume all right 
put all these plugs back in and front is done and we'll move on to the rear now transmission and rear diff I'll just show you in here on the side of the tractor here we've got a port coming out that's our fill point for the transmission and rear diff and it's got a sticker on there lift port and then there's a sticker up here chassis oiler they're actually back to front so whoever put the stickers on messed up just to confuse me but chatting with the uhi mechanic and he's like yep they're backwards this is where we fill up our transmission and our rear diff and this is obviously where we fill up our hydraulics if that needs to be filled up so we'll uh, take this port off to help it drain that's only finger tight this sucker sit in somewhere safe so bang smack under the rear diff we got a 30 mil socket for the main drain plug i'll oh, see how tight it is hopefully not too bad oh no there's only finger tight it's interesting come out in a hurry i reckon there we go Caps back on. Fitted up my egg trans fluid and filling it up at that point there. I could probably try and get some sort of funnel if I had a better one and just tip it in, but I'll just go with the pump because it's uh, a bit cleaner. So, 23 litres. Right, eh? So, I've pretty much finished filling this transmission up. Uh, I did notice when I was emptying my buckets out, it's uh, saying in my book uh, 23 litres, but that's, well, that's 20 there, and that's basically 20. So a lot more than 23 litres came out. So I'm thinking my book's wrong, and after a bit of correspondence with the manufacturers, they just said um, I could have the wrong spec sheet and just to go off the dipstick. So... Uh, I've just been filling them up and they said yeah just go to the halfway point which i'm pretty much at now but i've basically used 20 and then this one has got maybe five-ish liters in back in it so 35 liters of transmission fluid if uh if you guys um end up with the same paperwork as me just uh be careful on that one so just go midway point on the dipstick about 35 litres so we put him back on and then I'll take it for a quick spin and um, just make sure everything looks good after it's just gone around the block a little bit so the one other thing I've got to do bleed the fuel line in after changing the fuel filters so if we look in here um this is our primer and then just next to it this little bolt here loosen him off which i've just done um, a minute ago and then you've just got to blow all the air out until you start getting fuel so i'll do this for a bit get some fuel back in it and then um oops there we go and we'll take it for a quick spin uh so i I think I said that one before, but I had to bleed it out of there to get most of the air, and then this one here, just to bleed the lines right through. So I had to bleed all the air bubbles out, and then, um, yeah, she was good to start up. So um, I will take these struts out, put that down, take it for a quick spin, and then recheck all the oils.
right guys so i've taken him for a quick spin checked all the fluids again everything looks great so that's pretty much it i just got to go around and grease all the grease nipples and um just check the clutch and the the brakes but they're they're both still pretty good it just says that the free play um can get less over time but mine still both look pretty good um but yeah besides that we are pretty much done i think uh i'm glad i did it myself because now i feel a lot more um confident with all the mechanical on this and um feel like i know what to look for down the line so it's good to good to do it yourself um even if it did take me a little while with the confusion about a couple of bits of paperwork and stuff but uh any other questions guys let me know as i said i'm i'm no expert but um yeah done it now so yeah leave a comment if you uh got any questions but once again thanks for watching and um feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so and uh there'll be some more videos with this tractor um hooking up a couple of the other things down the line so thanks again